I put on a dress from Lost and Found. Like, Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually a bit of a random one. I wasn't really intending to film this haul. It's a haul because I have done a haul recently. And I did say in that video, you know, we're not spending, but I'm doing a haul. Anyway, so it's a collective haul. A lot of the things are kind of like basic staples. There's one item that I'm very excited about. And that was kind of the item that made me like decide to do the haul. Let's stop rambling. Let's just get into the video. Before we get into the video, my name is Kristen and on this channel, I like to mix luxury and affordable fashion and beauty. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then you might as well subscribe. You might as well hit the notification bell because you're probably gonna be back here anyway. Let's get started. Let's start off with this jumper. So this is from H&M. It doesn't, this is not even, it's back to front. Okay, wow. This is from H&M. It doesn't look like much just being held up like this. Um, but it's like, what kind of color is this? I can't, I don't know what color this is. It's kind of like a light purpley, gray, brownie sort of color. I really like the color. It's great. I'll put my little try-ons over here. Okay, I actually really like this, like a fine knit polar net. It's not thick, but it's not like tight fitting either. So you can get a thermal underneath here and still have a relatively slim fitting jumper. Oh, I've still got this little. So I really like that. I got this in a black and I got it in a cream. I'm not gonna try on all of them because literally they're the same. Um, and these were only like, these were 12.99 from H&M. I got this in a medium. And I think it's that perfect fit. So yeah, Tim, let's talk about these belts that I have fallen in love with. What on earth is on this belt? Wow, I can't. Fallen in love with these belts. So I do have another one. So this is from H&M, but it's meant to be, well, I don't know if it's meant to be, but it's, it's a dupe, I think, for the Bottega belt, which is like 700 and something pounds. This was 9.99. Is it the Bottega belt? No, no, it's not. But for for for, for nine ninety nine, did I say ten ninety nine or nine ninety nine? Can't remember. For nine ninety nine, I am happy with with this. I am. It's just great. It's great. It's like it's not a logo belt. You can cinch it in. You can have it a bit looser if you needed to. It's just. I feel like this is just one of those things that's just going to become a bit of a staple in my wardrobe. So I'm really happy that I managed to pick it up. It is. It keeps selling out online. I would say if you're interested in getting this belt, get one or two sizes up. So I got this in a large. The reason being, when you tie it and you do the loop thing, you want it. It, it all comes down to how long you want this thing to hang. So I also got. The brown version, of course I got the brown version. What can I say, it's exactly the same as the black one. I have got a little clip for you guys. I need to stay in my position because I keep encroaching on this area. Anyway, I did try this one on with the next item I'm gonna show you. I just think like the black, the brown, I needed them both. I think they have a cream and I was gonna get the cream but I just, I, I couldn't justify it because I just, I've never, ever, ever felt like I'd needed a cream belt. Maybe that will change in the future, but I was like, I've never, ever thought to myself, like, I really need a cream belt, you know? So I was like, I'm not just gonna buy it for the sake of buying it, which I think that is the beginnings of self-control. So I'm very proud. Anyway, love both of these belts. I find myself wearing the black one more than the brown but we are gonna get the wear out of this one as well. As you probably saw in that cutaway clip, I had that brown belt on with this jumper dress from H&M. This I got in a size medium. I think this was either $24.99 or $29.99. I'm gonna be honest, this dress is a bit of a weird one. I don't think it does anything for me. It's not. I don't know. I don't know what it is about it, but it just just doesn't seem to do anything for me. I'm not crazy about it, which means I think she could be on the chopping block. It's a it's a pretty standard jumper dress. Like I you you know I don't think it's terrible. It's not terrible at all. I probably could have got a small, but then I'd be worried about the length. Oh, the white lights are really washing this out. Um, 
I think lengthwise it feels a bit weird. I don't know why. The length is just a bit off for me. When I'm cinching it in, I feel like there's more fabric than I want there to be. And then when I don't have anything to cinch it in, it feels a bit like frumpy. I'm not I'm not trying to do the frump thing, so you know. I don't know. I don't know. You you can let me know what you think in the comments, but I personally just don't think this is a great dress for me personally okay right let's move swiftly on this is just a complete bundle of mess this top is from mango what i love about this top is you've got it's sheer can you see that it's sheer so yeah so it's sheer but it's got a, like a little top underneath it which I can't get it to work at the moment, but you know, there's a little top, little V-neck top underneath. You're gonna see in my my cutaway thing. I really like this. It's very cute. Um, it's a little bit different for like a for a polo neck like situation. They also have a dress version of this, so it's literally the exact same concept, but it's like a midi dress, so like just over the knee with a slit. I'm gonna link that because I just think that is also very fabulous. The, I have to say, it is such an annoying little faff to get on, but when it's on, I do like it. I do do like it. Uh, I do do like it. And I'm, this was my only little mango piece, which I'm, no, I lied. What? I literally lied. There was another mango piece. I feel like, I feel like everything I'm showing you is black um, or cream. So anyway, this is, my item from Naked Fashion. So it is a black long line teddy coat. I got this in the Black Friday sale. I think it was originally like 79.99 or something to that effect. I got it for maybe 50. I'm gonna put the clips of me trying it on. And please, I don't know if I'm going mad or what. It just looks, I, I, I'm sorry, it looks cheap. It, it, I just think it looks cheap. I really think it looks cheap. Like, it feels thin. When you have it on, yes, it feels warm, but when I'm holding it, I'm sorry, this is, I mean, this is this is a long line teddy coat. I'm expecting heavy, I'm expecting weight. My arms should be tired. It's like I'm holding nothing. I mean, okay, I'm exaggerating, but I think it's the lapels. I, I, I really think it's this sort of collar situation there's something about it that's just not giving and i wonder if it, it's because this should be more of like an oversized fit maybe this is just too fitted I, i'm not sure either way you're definitely going back i'm sorry and i don't think i am going to order from naked fashion i think i have to just let that ship sail i've tried I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't. I can't anymore. So this is the next item. These are a pair of jeans from River Island. These are the high rise skinny jeans in the size 10 regular from River Island. These have a nice amount of stretch to them. I have to say out of all the high street brands, River Island, I think they might be my favorite brand for jeans. It always used to be Topshop. But River Island jeans, I can't fault them. They are so good and they're really good quality. They wash well. I mean, I think with black jeans, I think it's very, very difficult to find a pair of black jeans that are going to stay black for a really long time. If you guys know of anywhere that sells black jeans that stay black, please tell me. I have had a pair of black jeans from River Island before. They have faded now. But they did stay black for a decent amount of time. And you know, I've had them for a few years now and they definitely, they're not black anymore. So, so that's kind of why I decided to buy these because I feel like I need like a true black pair. But I really want a pair that just stay black. Is that possible? I don't know. But these jeans, I really like them. They've got a great fit. They're very comfortable. Um, yeah, I recommend them. I will link the exact pair that I purchased in the description okay so the next item is this dress from mango it is like a knit ribbed knit midi dress i think this was 29.99 and i understand why uh, you will see in the try on clips i don't know what to do with this dress there is just so much material it's like i don't 
like what's going on there is so much material this does nothing for me it absolutely just swallows me and i could not wait to get this off have i literally it's rare that i find things that i like desperately i'm like i just want to get this off this is just awful i hate how i look in it like there's lots of things that i try and i'm like mm, no that didn't really work nope don't like that but there's it's rare it's not too often that i find things that i'm like what the hell is this absolutely can't even cope with you being on my body right now i'm very dramatic i i, I. it's medium thickness I generally find that mango stuff comes up a little bit big. I've always found that with mango. It comes up a little bit big. I don't know. I don't know. Do you agree? I'm not sure. Try to like cinch it in because if I didn't cinch it in, it looks like I put on a dress from Lost and Found. Like... I don't know. I lost my luggage and... The hotel had some some spare bits in their lost and found pile and this was one of them like this is what it feels like to me and i have this black dress which i absolutely love and really they do the same thing i don't need both so yes a fail everything, everything i'm showing you is black oh my god like this is definitely like a winter haul for real for real this is the scarf that i bought from h and m i I don't have a cutaway for this because you know i mean look at this this is just i love this i think this is either 9.99 or 12.99 right it's got some crap on it 12.99 or 9.99 i can't remember but i love it it's that kind of i can't even tell what kind of material this is like yeah you really can't go wrong with this let's just i'll just show you kind of like can you do a blanket moment with it it's not like a huge blanket moment but let's see but it's not bad at all um so it's got some good width to it <laughs> sorry i am so immature and it is also a really good length <laughs> clearly i am so tired and i am just so where is my head this it it is great <laughs> i don't know what i'm saying i don't even know what i'm saying anymore um did i get it in brown as well i think i got a very similar scarf in brown i don't know where that is i don't know where it is this haul what is this haul i am like all over the place in this haul but if i can find the other brown one that i got i'll link that as well so the final item is the reason i even did the haul can you see my beautiful tweed whatever material textured whatever checked blazer from zara I, I just love this i absolutely love it it is so me i am obsessed with it i think i've done this with jeans and with a mini skirt i mean this is just the perfect like winter moment perfect this with a red lip omg love it absolutely love this um i just think i don't think you can get better than zara blazers on the high street I, i'm sorry i don't think you can if you're talking luxury if you're talking like high end i'm sure there's many a brand but on the high street zara no no one can touch them i absolutely love it they always come out with amazing blazers and the fit I got this in a medium one thing i will say is it's not like a really thick blazer i feel like you look at it and you probably think oh this is heavy and this is thick mm, i wouldn't say that it's particularly heavy or thick it does have shoulder pads which i love i love 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 that so it's kind of one of zara's can i say more affordable it's 59.99 i feel like zara blazers can be all over the place do you know what i mean but i generally think they're good blazers are start at the 59.99 mark and then they go up you know but i seriously 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 i'm on a shopping like it's no more i know i have an unboxing coming to the channel 
why do I just say these things? Like, what is actually wrong with me? No, after that unboxing, that is it. It literally, I'm not buying anything. I have to stop. I will stop. I will stop. Anyways, okay guys, after what was a very chaotic, I can't even speak. After what was a very chaotic haul, after what was a, a very monochrome haul, my very naughty, I said I wasn't gonna buy anything else haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you found some entertainment in my just sheer exhaustion and uh my sheer I, I don't i don't know i don't know if you made it this far then why not subscribe i would love to have you as part of my little youtube channel i will be back next week with another video could that video be an unboxing it might be an unboxing you'll have to subscribe and see anyway guys thank you for watching <laughs> and i will see you in my next video Bye guys.